Welcome to Vandenberg Air Force Base, located on California's beautiful central coast. This video was produced to give you valuable information about your possible relocation and arrival to Vandenberg. Thanks for taking the time to become more familiar with the base and the services that are provided. We want your transition to Vandenberg to be as smooth as possible. Originally an army base named Camp Cook, Vandenberg was converted to a missile test launch facility in 1957 and later named after General Hoyt S. Vandenberg, the Air Force's second chief of staff. Since its beginning, Vandenberg has had a long history of test launching various ICBMs and providing the Department of Defense the only launch facility to propel satellites into a polar orbit. Today, Vandenberg continues this tradition by fully supporting the Western Test Range and all its activities while being one of the premier launch facilities in the world. Vandenberg Air Force Base is located about halfway between Los Angeles and San Francisco along California's central coast. The nearest major city is Santa Barbara, which is 59 miles to the southeast. It is recommended that you fly into Santa Maria since this is the closest airport providing commercial airline transportation. Discuss pickup at the airport with your sponsor since there isn't a courtesy shuttle to the base. Highway 101 is the main highway from which you will be driving to this area. Signs along the way give good directions to Highway 1 that will lead you to the front gate. Ask your sponsor for the arrival map provided by the Community Support Center Relocation Assistance Program. Before you depart your current location, visit your local family Community Support Center for a wealth of relocation information and pick up the Vandenberg Standard Installation Topic Exchange Service, or SITES booklet, which is your moving manual. Upon arrival, check into the Vandenberg Lodge, which is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. It is suggested that you make a reservation at least two weeks in advance and call ahead three days prior to your arrival to confirm your reservation. Military members and other authorized patrons, including DOD civilians, may make a Space A reservation 24 hours in advance of arrival for up to three days. Guests are required to provide a valid credit card at the time of reservation for a guaranteed hold. Pets are not allowed in lodging. However, there are kennels available in the surrounding communities. The lodging office can provide you with a list of these facilities. Eligible unaccompanied enlisted personnel will be assigned to their dorm room by their squadron. Arrange with your sponsor to pick up the key upon arrival. The dormitories continue to be under renovation to attain the one plus one configuration for all residents. Fam camp is also available to the newly assigned who own motorhomes or trailers. Reservations should be made at least one month in advance and guests may stay until they move into base housing. Full hookups are provided with a facility containing washers, dryers, showers, and restrooms. Pets are welcome, but must be kept on a leash at all times. All pet records must be current, and owners should have a rabies vaccination certificate for each pet. It is very important for each member to contact the Traffic Management Office immediately upon arrival and provide their most current contact information, including their sponsor's name and phone number. In most cases, TMO has only a few hours to notify the member and arrange for the delivery of their property. Accurate contact information may mean the difference of receiving household goods directly or having it subject to additional handling as it's moved into storage. The Traffic Management Office is located in Building 11777. To complete your PCS to Vandenberg, you must sign in during normal duty hours at your squadron orderly room. Once you've signed in, leave and travel days are stopped. You must sign in at your orderly room before you can use most of the base housing services provided. However, you may request permissive TDY for house hunting from your new squadron commander prior to signing in and the housing office will assist with community listings. Your orderly room will schedule you for several briefings, including the base newcomers orientation program. Spouses are encouraged to participate in this base and mission briefing, which includes a variety of base agencies. Excellent videos are also presented about Vandenberg organizations, services, and environmental safety. 
All appropriated funds civilians in processing at Vandenberg Air Force Base should arrive at the civilian personnel flight 30th MSS-DPC in building 11777 at 0800 the next duty day after arrival. DOD civilians also attend the base newcomers orientation and spouses are encouraged to participate. Civilian job seekers may contact the customer service area in the civilian personnel flight located in building 11777 to obtain a general announcement. Military spouses may also visit the customer service area for information related to the military spouse program. Students assigned to the 381st training group or one of its five subordinate squadrons should follow any instructions on their orders when arriving for training. None prior service students from basic military training may be issued a letter with instructions prior to departing Lackland Air Force Base and are usually met at the Santa Maria Airport by a military training leader. TDY students and cross trainees orders often direct them to the lodging office where welcome packages and more detailed reporting instructions will be provided. If your orders are not specific and the lodging office does not have instructions, you may stop by the group headquarters, building 8290, room 252, for assistance. For those students arriving PCS, in-processing appointments and briefings required by the Vandenberg Air Force Base Military Personnel Flight will be coordinated by the squadron orderly rooms and your instructors to ensure minimum impact to the training schedule. More information about the 381st Training Group is available on the World Wide Web via the 30th Space Wing homepage at www.vandenberg.af.mil. From your initial entry to Vandenberg, you have three working days to register your vehicle at Pass and Registration. This office is located in Building 11777, Room C111 and can offer assistance in car registration and registering your weapon on base. If you own a weapon and intend to reside on federal property, it must be registered using Air Force Form 1314. You can also store your weapon at the Security Forces Armory, which is open 24 hours a day, seven days a week. Residents of dorms and visitor quarters must store weapons in the armory. The Financial Services Office is available for all your military and DOD civilian travel pay needs. They are also located in Building 11777 and are a part of the centralized in-processing team. They will brief you on your pay and assist you in completing your PCS travel voucher. For timely processing, have all your receipts, plane tickets, and orders available when you in-process. If you are military and arrive with dependents, you may qualify for 10 days of temporary living expenses. This entitlement is payable after you move from lodging or your hotel to permanent quarters. DOD civilians should contact the local finance office to determine your entitlements. If you have family members or are an E-5 or above, you may elect to reside off base. If so, you will be eligible for Basic Allowance for Housing, or BAH. If you are a California resident, state taxes will be withheld once you in process at Vandenberg. The legal office is located in Wing Headquarters, Building 10577. A full range of legal assistance and claim services is available to active duty personnel and their family members. Vandenberg housing quarters include Capehart and the new Southwest style stucco, two, three, and four bedroom structures. There are 672 homes located in the East Housing Area and 1,396 homes located on the main base property. All units have a stove, refrigerator, dishwasher, garbage disposal, and at least two bathrooms. To be placed on a waiting list for base housing, submit an advance application with a copy of your orders through your local housing office. The teardown and rebuild project, which began in fiscal year 94, is projected to be completed in fiscal year 2007. As a result of the construction, there is an impact on the waiting list for base housing. Members should be prepared to defray the cost of living in the off-base community until base housing becomes available. The housing office lists property for rent and for sale. 
Check the site's database for the current range of costs for housing and the hot links into the local communities listed under the topic housing. Very few landlords accept pets, but if they do, expect to pay a pet security and cleaning deposit plus an additional monthly fee. Pets on base are limited to three animals unless authorized by the support group commander. The Vandenberg Chapel family welcomes you to California's Central Coast and to Vandenberg Air Force Base. Your base chaplains are here to serve you and we look forward to meeting you. A variety of worship opportunities are available at Chapel One located by the Child Development Center and at the newly renovated historic World War II era Chapel Two. Our chapel staff is here to serve you in any way they can. Their offices are located in Chapel One. The base chapel provides a variety of programs, activities, retreats, and regular religious education programs throughout the year. Please contact them and see if they have something for you. For your health care needs, the 30th Medical Group supports Vandenberg Air Force Base by operating a comprehensive community health care system. We have over 18,000 beneficiaries in the local area. As of today, if everyone chose our military treatment facility as their primary care manager, we could accommodate them. Now this is not the same thing as saying we have Space A appointments available for people who choose not to enroll in Prime. Clinic appointments are available every day including most holidays for acute care. A full service pharmacy will take care of your prescription drug needs with a convenient phone-in service for 24-hour call-in of your prescription renewals. Visit the TRICARE Service Center located in the clinic to transfer your family's TRICARE Prime enrollment and choose local providers. The service center can answer all your questions about the TRICARE program to best fit your medical needs. The Active Duty Dependence Dental Plan is available for a nominal fee. Members arriving from overseas assignments should contact customer service at the military personnel flight to enroll family members. Be advised, dental services are provided primarily for active duty personnel. All other patients are seen only in emergency situations for the relief of pain. Pick up a list of local dentists from the Health Benefits Office located in the clinic. The Exceptional Family Member Program provides referral and social work services to families with members who have special needs. Military members can be assisted in obtaining documentation for humanitarian reassignment or deferments due to the need for specialized medical or other care. The 30th Medical Group also offers numerous family advocacy preventive education programs. Referral and direct treatment services include marital counseling, support groups, and crisis intervention programs for all ages. The Community Support Center provides direct service programs for military personnel, DOD civilians, and their family members. A team of professional staff members and volunteers are available to assist you in any needs you may have with a variety of programs, which include life skills, career focus, personal financial management, Air Force Aid Society, volunteer resources, information and referral, and relocation assistance and transition programs. The Career Focus Program Manager assists family members to find new employment opportunities. Workshops help develop job search skills, and computers are available to complete a resume and conduct internet job searches. For additional inquiries about employment opportunities, contact the Non-Appropriated Funds Office by phone or mail. They will be happy to answer any questions you may have. Remember that regular, non-appropriated fund employees are authorized 150 days without pay between their current job and a new one at Vandenberg. Additional contacts for on-base employment can be made with the Civilian Personnel Office. If you're interested in volunteering, the Volunteer Resource Program Manager can assist in identifying opportunities on base and in the surrounding communities to match your interest and skills. The Relocation Assistance staff are here to assist you in your settling in process. Visit the Relocation Office for a welcome packet of information designed to your needs. Even with the best of planning, occasionally emergencies do arise. 
Keep in mind that assistance is available through the Air Force Aid Society located at the Community Support Center and the American Red Cross located in the base hospital. The Red Cross also offers a variety of health and disaster training opportunities in the local area. Family Services has over 30 volunteers to help you adjust to your new surroundings with programs designed for you and your family. Their welcoming committee looks forward to providing you with information about Vandenberg and the surrounding communities. The Loan Out Closet has household items for use until your household goods arrive or while you're here on temporary duty. To help parents with childcare, there are updated listings of super sitters and licensed family daycare providers. An airman's attic program makes donated household goods such as couches, tables, chairs, and lamps available to E1 through E5. You will need a Form 552 with your first sergeant's signature to participate in this program. Vandenberg has an excellent child development center, which has been accredited by the National Association for the Education of Young Children. They serve children from six weeks to five years of age. If child care is required immediately at Vandenberg, it is recommended that you call the Child Development Center prior to arrival and request the forms needed to register your child. The Family Child Care Program has licensed daycare providers in the military housing units for extra daycare needs. If you have trouble finding child care, there are daycare centers in nearby Lompoc and a referral program to help you find a suitable establishment. The Vandenberg Youth Center houses a variety of programs to serve the growing needs of military families. Our school-age program offers both before and after school care, as well as a summer camp program. Your children may want to participate in a variety of sporting and instructional programming. In addition to the regular sports programs like baseball, softball, basketball, soccer, and football, we offer volleyball, cheerleading, and a competitive gymnastics team. Children can also participate in a medley of dance classes, get their kicks in our martial arts program, or unlock their musical potential by mastering the keys at our piano lessons. For your use daily, the Youth Center offers a computer research room, large recreational room with table games and snack bar, full multi-purpose gymnasium, and outdoor patio area. All this, plus discounts on sporting and instructional programs, is available to our youth program members for an annual fee or to any base affiliated youth for a daily recreational fee. The Services Squadron has an information, ticket, and tours office offering one-day tours to Los Angeles attractions, weekend getaways, and longer sightseeing trips, as well as tickets to local theme parks. There is also an 18-hole championship golf course, 20-lane bowling center, a skills development center, which provides arts and crafts, and wood and auto shops. A complete fitness center offers a weight room, racquetball courts, locker room facilities, and a basketball court for your exercise activities. The equipment checkout and RV storage facility provides rental items for camping, fishing, and other outdoor sports and more. The Education Flight offers a full range of educational programs from three different colleges and universities. The University of Laverne and Chapman University offer bachelor degree programs. They also offer master degree programs and assorted concentrations of study. Allen Hancock College is a two-year public community college where students can fulfill their lower division work to complete requirements for a community college of the Air Force degree. California residents attending Allen Hancock do not pay tuition fees. Military members are considered residents for the duration of their tour. Family members are considered residents for tuition purposes during the first year they reside in California. However, a registration fee per credit hour is charged to all students. Two elementary schools and a middle school provide educational opportunities for children living on base. Crestview, grades K through 5, is located on the main base, and Los Padres, grades K through 5, is located in East Housing. The Vandenberg Middle School, grades 6 through 8, is also located in East Housing. 
High school students are bused five miles to Cabrillo High School in Vandenberg Village. Visit each school via their homepage listed in sites. To facilitate enrollment, have available your children's last report card and up-to-date immunization records. To enter kindergarten, your child must be age 5 on or before December 2nd. The main exchange is conveniently located in the Community Loop, which is a mall-type complex that includes a variety of concessions. A flower shop, barber shop, beauty shop, optical shop, and food shops. The open mall area includes the Vandenberg Federal Credit Union, Four Seasons, Post Office, Library, Travel Agency, Military Clothing Store, Veterinarian Clinic, Bowling Center, and Shop at Class 6. A full-service commissary is stocked with a complete line of grocery products, household supplies, bakery, deli, and fresh fish. Shopping hours are extended on several evenings by the Minicom Convenience Store, located adjacent to the commissary. If you prefer to dine out, the Pacific Coast Club offers various opportunities from casual to formal settings and features a ballroom and garden rooms for joint activities. The local area around Vandenberg is known for its rolling hills and historic small towns. These small communities such as Lompoc, Buellton, Solvang, Santa Maria offer unique shopping and cultural opportunities while providing services we all enjoy. The climate on the central coast is mild. It is cool in the summer months and comfortably mild in the winter. Ocean fog is the most talked about weather phenomena, which controls most of the weather on a day-to-day -day basis. Due to its mild temperatures and prime location on the central coast, Vandenberg and the local area can offer you a wide range of outdoor activities, which include boating, fishing, mountain hiking, horseback riding, and scuba diving. When you are enjoying these activities, please be aware of the marked areas that protect numerous endangered species in and around the base property. With over 30 miles of coastline and over 98,000 acres of land, Vandenberg's wide expanse actually acts as a nature preserve to the local flora and fauna that inhabit its boundaries. Its rolling hills, hidden valleys, and rocky shoreline make it a wonderful place to explore and experience California as it used to be years ago. We hope this video has introduced you to the many excellent services and opportunities provided to you by the outstanding organizations on base. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to call before you begin your transition process. Vandenberg Air Force Base in beautiful Central California will continue providing today's Air Force with tomorrow's dreams. Remember to ask your local Family Community Support Center relocation staff to provide a copy of the current Vandenberg Air Force Base Standard Installation Topic Exchange Service or SITES booklet. This current database lists agencies, phone numbers, and internet websites, and description of services on and off Vandenberg Air Force Base to assist you in your relocation. Look in SITES for the phone numbers of the agencies mentioned in this video. Visit the website www.famnet.com for the most current sites, photo gallery, relocation slideshow, and hot links into the local communities. Also check out the website www.dmdc.osd.mil slash sites for sites which will download with a table of contents. Have an excellent move. Thank you.